I was just walking by this travel trailer and thought, wait a minute, this thing is huge. What the heck is inside of this travel trailer? And once I saw the inside, I had to make a video of it. Let's go take a look. Welcome back to another video, y'all. This is a 2023 Grand Design Transcend 297 QB. Now, when I saw a QB, I would have thought quad bunk. That was what my mind thought. However, I don't think that's what this stands for. It's always a little bit of a mystery, but I'll explain more of what I think that QB stands for when we go inside. Hopefully, I'll remember once we get to that point. But Nonetheless, you'll be able to see the floor plan layout and the specs on the screen. And I guess since you can see the floor plan layout, I think it's actually QB for a queen bed in that back bunk room. So that is something that is going to be really different. That makes this almost like a two full bedroom travel trailer with a bunk. So pretty dang impressive. However, it is very big. This is 36 feet long bumper to bumper. So it is a big travel trailer. And because it is what is considered a stick and tin travel trailer, that means it has an aluminum siding on the outside. Um, love the way Transcend does this aluminum siding. It looks very clean, very modern. And then it has a wood framing throughout the RV. You can see the wood framing there. It is a little bit on the heavier side. So unloaded, this is going to be 7,424 pounds, has a 1,531 pound cargo carrying capacity. So fully loaded, it's going to be 8,995 pounds. So that is going to mean you're also probably going to have something like a pin weight of around 800, maybe 900 pounds um, when it's loaded. And you know what? I mean, that still technically is going to fall within the classification of what a lot of half ton trucks market that they are capable of towing i look at this though i just got a 2023 tundra and although this camper would look great behind my tundra i would feel pretty intimidated towing a camper 36 feet long behind a half ton truck so i would recommend a three quarter ton truck now we're going to jump right into going inside this rv because i want to talk to you about something especially with a model like this i'm going to expand the view here and as we step inside we're going to jump right into the back area because we're going to talk about some mattresses. RVs, if you don't know, they do not come with great mattresses. And whether it's your main mattress in the bedroom or when you come to something like this, and even more importantly, something like this, where you have a queen size bed here, but this is not a obviously standard queen size bed here, nor are these standard size beds. What do you do if you want to have a more comfortable experience with sleeping in your RV? Well, I have the answer for you, and it's RVMattress.com. So thanks to RVMattress.com, you can find solutions to get comfortable mattresses for different sleeping arrangements in RVs. It's RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. They make amazing mattresses. I actually got my family, uh, specifically my parents, set up with a new mattress for their fifth wheel RV. And I'm gonna talk to them a little bit about what their experience has been like so far with the mattress, how they like it, and show you the experience of getting that, R or getting that mattress set up in our RV while we talk. Cool. Hey, Dad, do you have a second? Sure. So I'm calling because I have to do another follow-up video with RVMattress.com. And yeah. since you're using the mattress, I wanted to see if you would want to share some of your thoughts on a recording of how the mattress has been so far. I, yeah, well, I can do that. Okay, cool. So I actually have a microphone running right now. So... If you're ready to go, um, basically, <laughs> just need to hear your thoughts about what you think of the mattress, how it's been so far, and how you like it. Uh, well, the mattress is great. It's 
every bit as good as the high quality mattress we have in our house. Um, the mattress that was in the camper was very bad. And so now when we go on these trips, um, we're sleeping on a mattress that's just as good quality and as comfortable as the mattress that we have in our house. Yeah, so compared to like the mattress that you had before, it's a pretty big difference, right? Uh, yeah, it's a huge difference. Did you, even, had before. did you even know how bad that mattress really was until you got the new one, or did you always just think it was bad from the get-go? Uh, we knew it was bad, yeah, yeah. because we have, we have a very high-quality mattress in the house, so, you know, it was always uncomfortable sleeping on that mattress so we we knew it wasn't a good quality mattress because we're we're used to we're used to a good high quality mattress right well that's kind of what i thought and i figured especially after we ripped that mattress open <laughs> what the difference was with this new one so yeah. that's all i just wanted to hear your thoughts and hear how everything's been going i assume dana loves it too yeah she does love it yes that's yep. good she thinks the same thing i do it's equal to what we have at the house and so we're not we're not giving up you know a comfortable sleep when we go camping right like we used to it's a little bit more like actually taking the comforts of home on the road yes yeah for sure so as you can see the mattresses that come in an rv really are not designed to give you a comfortable sleep but if you want to get a comfortable night's sleep in your rv go to rvmattress.com. Actually, even better, go to the link down below in the description of this video. It'll also be the first comment in the video as well, where there will be a 25% off coupon code that you can use when you click that link. It's the code MILES, M-Y-L-E-S, which will also be on screen. Get 25% off your next mattress for your RV. You're going to love it. It's going to give you a better night's sleep and it's definitely a great source if you need a more specific size mattress for something like bunk beds. So go check that out. So since we're already in here, let's go ahead and stay in here. But real quick, I wanna let you know, we are at McLean's RV Superstore in Sanger, Texas. This is actually their furthest north location in Texas. McLean's is a partner of ours with our company Firmly Unbound. So they are one of the best dealerships in America that you can come buy your RV from. They'll definitely make sure you have a great experience in the Sanger location in particular is their newest store. It is really, really nice. They even have a KOA campground right behind their property. That's a really convenient source to get set up with trying out your RV before you take it home. They have a huge service area here, which is also very important for those times down the road when you may need service, making sure they have support for you. So if you are interested in this RV, you can text us at the number on this screen here. We are here to help you. McLean's has five different locations, four in Texas, one in Oklahoma. Again, we are here today looking at this one at their Sanger location, which is their furthest north location in Texas, kind of right between Dallas and Oklahoma City. So great location for both people in Texas and Oklahoma, and we'll take care of you. So as we go through the inside here, definitely a unique layout. For a bunkhouse travel trailer, you have a slide out here, so this whole area is slid out. Kind of like what Transcend does with this three-tone uh, accent here in their slide out fascia, where they give you this black line in the middle, and then this here doing this cream color almost makes the slide out look a little bit bigger because it matches the color of the ceiling. So that looks kind of nice and gives it that bigger feel there. Something I haven't seen in any other travel trailer where they use that three-tone color scheme there. Overall though, definitely want to know your thoughts on what you think about the overall interior color scheme. It's, uh, you know, it doesn't look bad on camera. It looks pretty bright on camera. However, when I look at like this area here on the camera and then I look up from the camera, it looks a lot brighter on the camera than it does in real life. So to me, it feels just a little bit dark in here. Um, I would like for it to have a little bit of a brighter feel, but Nonetheless, it's uh, up to you. You tell me what you think about the interior space. Maybe adding a window here would have added in that extra natural light coming in. Plus we are inside, so it's hard to get a real feel for the natural light, but I think one big window here would have been really nice. Or maybe like back behind here or something. But cutting out windows does cost more money, makes the RV more expensive. So as we go through, uh, you know what, let's just start from the back and work our way forward. We'll do this a little bit unconventional because I really want to show this space here more in depth. This looks to be about a queen size bed down here. 
So that is pretty impressive. Plus you have the L-shaped bunk up here as well. It'll be pretty easy to get up onto that bunk for whoever's up there. They'll just have to climb up onto this bed and hop up there. Um, these bunks are typically rated for about 300 pounds. There is no sticker that I see with a weight rating, but usually these are rated for about 300 pounds up here. You have two lights there, so good lights in this area, and then window here and window here. So it can get a good breeze going through here if you have good weather outside. Also have a vent fan here, so that's good. You can vent out air out of this space if needed, and you're going to have a spot here. So you can mount a TV if you want a TV in this area. Also like how they gave you the coat hooks here, so if you wanna hang a hoodie or a coat or anything like that, even hang a hat, you have the ability to do so. And then they gave you a good amount of storage with these shelves back through here, can easily fold up shirts or roll up shirts and put stuff back in there, can put bedding back in there, board games, whatever it may be. And then you have these drawers that will pull out. You have four of them. So those are going to be great as well. Plus more storage here with even bigger drawers right there with two of those. So lots of storage for whoever is staying back here in this space. And it does have a sliding pocket door. So you can get complete privacy in that area as well. So overall, just really, really like the layout and concept of this. And then I'm gonna lay in this bed and see if we can determine whether or not this is really a queen size bed. Get underneath here. And as I push back, uh, you know, it's right at about, it's probably 74 inches long, I would say. Uh, my feet aren't hanging off the edge and my head is just barely touching the wall. So, I am six foot two with my shoes on, which would be 74 inches. So I think that's right at about 74 inches there. Have a window down beneath as well and bedside table here. This is um, a vent for your furnace. I believe the furnace is actually right underneath this bed, it looks like. And then outlets, USB ports there. And that's, oh, and one more outlet right here as well for the person on the top bunk. So that's everything in this space here. As you come out to this area, really wide entry door into this space. Um, this is definitely wider than what you'll typically see. And ceiling height in here is good. Me being 6'2", I don't hit my head here, which is great. It seems like the ceiling height up here is probably somewhere around like 6'6", six, because six, I stand on my tippy toes and don't quite hit the ceiling. So maybe 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, something along those lines. You're gonna have your pantry here. And again, this is something where on camera it looks a little bit brighter, but I mean, it's kind of dark seeing back into that space. I almost feel like I'd need a flashlight when I'm looking at it just with my eyes and not on camera. And then as we come back to here, you have two recliners directly across from your TV. Plus if you're you know, having people sit at the dining table, more people sit here, very easy to have conversation with each other, which is something to keep in mind that's great. Um, a little bit better configuration in my opinion than maybe having the dining table next to the recliners where it's not quite as comfortable to have a conversation with the people sitting in the different seating arrangements. Also like that this comes with the upgraded Thomas Paine furniture. A lot of entry level travel trailers like what this would be considered because it is an aluminum sided wood framed or stick and tin travel trailer don't typically come with upgraded luxury furniture but this does. So I like that. Has recliners here and these recliners look like they should lay all the way back. There'll be a pull strap recliner and oh, not quite. They have the capability to lay all the way flat, but they're mounted a little bit too close to the wall to lay all the way flat. But nonetheless, they still will lay back a little bit. Seem pretty firm. So when I sit down, they are pretty firm and I actually prefer that. I think these feel really comfortable. Um, I think that you know, I don't want an overly firm chair, but it has a good amount of cushioning and it's just really packed in there. So it gives a nice firm feel and really supports your body. So I like that only one light above this area. So I feel like they could have gone with two, but just get one there. And then as you look along the ceiling line, you can see you have your speakers in the ceiling. So your speaker system will go through there. Ducted AC system. I'm curious to see if this has one or two ACs. No AC in the bunk room, but we'll see if there's one in the bedroom. As we go, oh, don't let me get too ahead of myself here. Um, dining table setup, pretty interesting. Um, I forget what kind of pattern this will be. I guess kind of like a plaid pattern for your chairs here or for your booth dinette. 
you're gonna be able to take these legs off to drop this table down and make this into a bed if you want. And then it has kind of this natural cut look to the table here. Now, although Grand Design and the Transcend is like an entry level travel trailer, coming in here, it kind of feels like Grand Design said, you know, we're gonna make an entry level travel trailer, but we just can't settle for some of the things that we see in entry level travel trailers because it's not just what our brand is about. So that's where we see some of the upgraded furniture and things like that. Same with the design of the table. Down underneath here, you'll have direct access to storage underneath there. And same thing here. And then window there to see out into your campsite. TCL Roku TV, so a smart TV with Roku built in. Storage on both sides with a tinted glass door there. And radio controls here as well. Plus it has an HDMI port on there, so if you did want to plug in like a Blu-ray player, PlayStation, whatever it may be, you can do that. Black pleated shades on your windows. So those are gonna still let in a little bit of light, but it's gonna be a shade for privacy nonetheless. Going back to your kitchen, you're going to have your Furion 12 volt refrigerator. So this is going to run off of the battery system there. And solar on the roof is gonna help make sure that stays running for you. You have a standard size RV microwave. It's a Furion microwave, Furion stove and oven. And then you have a Furion vent fan as well. So vents out any smells here in the kitchen. Has a light on there as well with kind of a warm light tone. Three burner stove, it's a standard size RV stove. And then your smallest RV oven. So hopefully you're not trying to cook anything too big, but it can fit like a small pizza or things like that in here. Have more storage underneath here, kind of like your pots and pans drawer. And you even get a little bit of storage down underneath the refrigerator with that drawer there. Then to the right, you have a really nice looking sink area. Everything is nice and symmetrical in this space, which gives it a very well thought out feel. Storage back behind here, skylight in here. So this is letting in a little bit more natural light there. A lot of travel trailers do not have skylights in them. So that is something that is nice in here. And I think if we were outside, we would be feeling more of that natural light coming in and making this a bit brighter on the inside. So something to keep, uh, consider and think, uh, keep in mind as we go through this video. Tinted glass cabinet doors there, storage through here, and shelf there. This here is talking about how Grand Design, they do a PDI or pre-delivery inspection of every single RV they build before it leaves their facilities. That's something that not all RV manufacturers do. So that is kind of a big deal. Um, it's something they invest extra money in to make sure that every RV is inspected and checked before it leaves. So that is something to know about Grand Design. You have a stainless steel single basin sink with a stainless steel faucet. Drawers on each side of this middle part. Those are pretty big drawers there. And deep storage with these cabinets as well. Plus a little spot for either sponges or spices or whatever you want to use that for. Storage underneath the sink. And here we're going to have more storage and your drawer. Again, right when you walk in, you have shelves here so you can put different things like shoes in this area. I think that's what most people will probably use that for. And then I like this for maybe like plastic utensils or paper plates, stuff that you want quick access to from outside. So maybe you don't have to walk all the way through the RV. You can still keep your shoes on and just reach into this space and grab whatever you need from outside without having to do too much. Outlet here and then in the kitchen, you have outlets on both sides here and here for additional kitchen equipment. All of your controls for the RV are right here. These entry level travel trailers are pretty simple and straight to the point. So your tank levels here, slide out and on in controls, and then your lights here, and then controls for your water pump and water heater. It does have a gas and electric water heater, which is nice because some entry level travel trailers are only gas. So gas and electric on that. That also allows you to heat up the water faster if you turn both of those on at the same time. More coat hooks here and through the hallway, nice comfortable space through here, nice and wide. And then as you go into the bathroom, this looks like, yeah, porcelain foot flush toilet. So that's nice. They also install a towel rack here. Didn't have to do that, like to see that. They have a vent fan in here, medicine cabinet with shelves next to it. And then you're going to have a stainless steel faucet, plastic sink, drawer that pulls out here pretty shallow drawer actually doesn't pull out too far and then storage 
underneath the sink here with some shelves and some open storage there. Now what I really like is you have a rectangular shower in here instead of a radius shower. So this is gonna give you a little bit more comfortable space. It's gonna have this curtain that slides across there. It's gonna be a lightweight curtain that also isn't a hard material. So if you bump it with your elbow or something like that, it's not gonna hurt like glass would. And then as you step in here, the ceiling height, ooh, a little short. It's probably about six foot to right here, maybe 5'11", but I have to squat down just a little bit to not hit my head here. Stepping into the skylight, if I stand on my tiptoes, my head hits the top of the skylight. So this here is probably about six, four, six, five, probably six, five up into the skylight. This could have been mounted a little bit higher. So at my eye level, you can see, I definitely have to duck down to get underneath that. And that is something that uh, you just have to keep in mind for what's comfortable for you. But travel trailers like this, I mean, I feel like most people typically are doing like camping trips or maybe extended camping trips where you, you know, maybe aren't showering every day or anything like that and can make this space work here. If you're living in it, you know, you might wanna maybe put a little bench in there or something like that if you're taller, if that's something that you wanna do. Sliding pocket door going to the bathroom. And then if you go back to the bedroom, queen size bed in here as well. That looks to be a residential queen size bed. Nice, good size on that. Really nice pillowy looking headboard as well. You have a shelf up on top and then to the right and to the left. Ooh, interesting. They actually give you shelves in here instead of a clothing rod with another drawer here. Big drawer. Outlets, USB ports here as well. No storage down underneath there, but that's the pass-through storage. You are gonna have storage under the bed and it is strut assisted, so that's nice. And then the reason they don't give you clothing rods in this area here is because you have this additional storage over here that is going to give you the clothing rod. Then you have an additional shelf here and two pull-out drawers. So you'll have all that there and a spot for a TV on the wall. So pretty good bedroom space and thank goodness there is a second AC in here. I'm so glad to see that. I was worried for a second, but it does have the second AC and it looks like this is ducted through the rest of the RV as well. So not just gonna be a dump down AC, but a ducted AC. Again, something that not all entry level travel trailers will have. One, some of them won't even have the second AC and two, if they do, a lot of times it's just a dump down AC. So it's not ducted through the whole system. This one is ducted through the whole system. So it'll be pushing air out that way as well. And the other one will be pushing air this way. So they kind of work in a system where they, you know, the AC units work together to help cool down the whole RV quicker. So like that, also like that there are no floor vents. So you can see your heat actually comes out of these registers here on the side of cabinetry and stuff like that. So that you don't have any floor vents in this travel trailer, which I know a lot of people appreciate. So that is everything on the inside. We still gotta go take a look at the outside, but before we go outside, let me know, what do you think about the inside of this travel trailer? What do you like? What don't you like? What questions do you have? And did I miss anything? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you are interested in this RV, you can text us at the number on the screen. We are here to help if you live in Texas or Oklahoma or are willing to have your RV delivered from one of these places or travel to one of these places. We're here to help and make sure you have a great experience with purchasing your next RV. Let's go take a look at the outside. As we go along the outside, don't forget McLean's has their 60th anniversary summer sale coming up. That is really exciting. It is gonna be one of the best opportunities of the entire year to purchase your next RV. McLean's has been in business for over 60 years. Well, not over 60 years, for 60 years, which is pretty dang impressive considering they are a smaller family owned set of dealerships here in Texas and Oklahoma. I don't even know how many RV dealerships in America that are family owned, that have been in business for 60 years. But I do know that means they're doing something right. Obviously they're doing something right because we're here too and want to work with them. So they have that sale coming up. Be on the lookout for that because there is going to be some exciting incentives during that event. Plus it is going to be a really fun atmosphere to be here in person and be a part of at one of their stores. They have a lot of fun stuff going on and it's going to be a great time to look at purchasing your next RV. So keep that in mind coming up. As we go along the outside, you're going to have 20 pound propane bottles up front, power tongue jack, and a spot for your battery here. We're gonna go along the campsite first. This is actually a flagpole mount. So if you wanted to put a flagpole on your RV, can mount one there. 
You have your pass-through storage compartment, again, wood framing on this travel trailer, and then that is a motion-activated light, so great how you can just leave that on at all times, and it will just turn on whenever you open that door. Manual stabilizers, just know that you do not have to hand crank these things. You can get a drill with a bit that fits on the end of this and it will shoot these things up so quickly. Um, I actually almost prefer it over electric stabilizers because it goes twice as fast, maybe three times as fast as it does waiting for electric stabilizers to go up and down at a speed that you cannot control. You just have to sit there and hold the button and wait. But this here, you can do this incredibly quick. You just can't level the RV with these stabilizer legs. They're not meant to support that amount of weight. If you don't know how to level an RV, you actually put blocks underneath the tires. That's kind of how you do that there. Between that and using the tongue jack, that is how you level the RV. Down underneath here, fully enclosed underbelly, all your water tanks and water lines sit above the enclosed underbelly, above the insulation. And whenever you have your furnace on, that is going to be sending hot air into that cavity to make sure your water tanks and water lines don't freeze. Transcend has one of the best looking exterior finishes on an aluminum sided RV. Looks very clean and modern, nice colors with the gray, black, and white. As we go along this side, you have a standard entry step. This is one thing that I wish Grand Design did differently. I wish it came with a solid step, but you have this three tier step that goes up underneath the door there. You have an awning that covers about two thirds of the length of your RV. Solar panel up on the roof, so that is going to keep your batteries charged. You can see that right there. And then two ACs, they are the Furion ACs up on the roof as well. You're gonna have two speakers outside plus this LED light strip outside as well for lighting. And then here you have your outdoor kitchen. It's gonna be a two burner cooktop and a little mini refrigerator. So it can keep some drinks outside. I really like having the outlets outside, especially because I like to film content in the few times that I do go camping. Fortunately, don't get a whole lot of time because I'm just always making videos to show y'all RVs, which takes a lot of time. So don't get to go camping too terribly much, but I know last time I did, it was so convenient to just have a plug outside here that I could plug my phone in when I needed to charge it to film more content. Two burner stove here. I'm, it's kind of interesting how they make this look like a drawer. Um, I feel like it's a little inconvenient. Maybe it, if you have handles that stick up high enough or something here, it won't get in the way too much, but I feel like it just wasn't necessary. That's just my opinion. So that's everything on your campsite. Moving back this way, you have your spare tire off the rear bumper. You have your windows here, and then you have prep for a backup camera and more additional exterior storage underneath that bed there. Same thing with this. You have a motion activated light. See how that just comes on automatically. And of course, you're gonna have storage through the rear bumper if you wanna put a sewer hose or anything back through there. It'll come with caps that you can close those off with so you can use that for storage. 50 amp plug here right off the back side of the RV. And then you're gonna have your slide out here, fully walkable roof, so you do get a ladder to go up onto the roof as well. And then as you come back this way, they have really standard wheels, but they are black. So at least they look nice with that. And then you have a standard leaf spring suspension and also, just kind of funny, um, they used a heck of a lot of that expandable foam to seal off those spots. So it looks funny, but very practical. Going to make sure no critters or bugs or anything get up through the, <laughs> through the bottom components of your RV. Uh, this right here is where all of your water will dump out of. I don't see another port here. So yeah, just this one spot, all of your black and gray tanks will come right there on this travel trailer gonna have your gas electric water heater and then this is a black tank flush valve so you can hook a, a hose up to this to send pressurized water through your black tank to flush that and clean that out through here you have your battery disconnect switch this is your fresh water or city water connection here it can be either one depending on the direction of this switch this is your solar uh, charge setup here and then you're gonna have satellite and cable connections plus more outlets here and your solar charge controller there it is a 25 amp solar charge controller from Furion. Have your shower hose here, and then it has the, it's actually more like a sprinkler, not a sprinkler, a um, hose head, not like a shower head there. Plus another motion activated light there that is not turned on. And that is just about everything on this travel trailer. So let me know what you think, what you like, what you don't like. And if you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. 
Again, if you are interested in this RV, text us at the number on the screen. We are here to help, we're ready to help, and make sure you have a great experience with purchasing your next RV. We are at McLean's RV Superstores. This location is their Sanger, Texas location. It is their furthest north location in Texas, right between Dallas and Oklahoma, pretty much, or Oklahoma City. So a great location for both people in Texas and Oklahoma, and it's their newest store, so it is just really, really nice in here, inside and out, and they have a great amount of support here. So if you are interested in this RV, text us, or if you're just ready to start shopping for an RV, text us, we're here to help. And until next time, live firmly unbound. Mm -hmm.